In this video, we're going to learn how to operate this RDO induction heater. This equipment is conformed by three main components, which are the cooling unit, the heater unit, and the heating coil. Please make sure that you're wearing all your personal protective equipment, which include your safety glasses, your lab coat, and high temperature resistant gloves. The first step to operate this equipment is to make sure that all the connections are properly connected. So go to the rear side of the equipment and make sure that all the hoses are properly in place, that they are not loose. Make sure that the electric cord is also properly attached to the machine and to the main electricity line. Also, make sure that there is water in the storage tank. Second, make sure that the switches and the control panel are in the following positions. The heat switch should be on the standby position. The mode switch should be in the manual position and the main power breaker should be downwards. The third step is to make sure that the sample that you're gonna heat is, is set right at the center of the heating coil. It is important to make sure that it is centered since this will guarantee the uniform heating of the sample. Also, please be aware that you need to use an, a non-conductive material at the bottom of the sample unit that is going to be heated. In this case, I'm using a piece of a ceramic material which is a, a non-conductive material. Once you are sure that all the switches are in the proper place, all the connections are properly connected, proceed to turn on the cooling unit by activating the, the switch that is in the rear part of the cooling unit. Then the next step is to turn on the heater by flipping the, the power breaker that is in front of the heater unit. Flip it so that it is upwards now. Now notice how the, the screens turn on. This is indicating that the machine is on but is not heating the material yet. Before setting the power in the heating unit, make sure that there's nothing around the heating coil that might be damaged. Once you make sure there's nothing around the, the heating coil, proceed to set the desired power. By turning the power knob to the desired power percent. At this point, the power has been set, but the heater is not actually heating the material yet since the heat switch is in the standby position, which means that the system is running in the standby mode. To start heating the material, just press the heat switch to the on position. And this will start the elapsed time. Now at this point, the material is being heated. Now it is important to check that these light indicators are not turned on. Because if one of them is turned on, that means that the system is running unstable and you need to immediately shut it down. Notice how the material sample is getting is gaining heat. So be careful of not touching any heat component. Once you're done with your with your test, the first
first step is to switch again the heat switch into the standby position. Make sure you wait until your material sample is cool before removing it from the heating coil. If you are done with your test, make sure the switch is in the standby position. Turn the power knob to the zero position and move the main power brake downwards. This will shut down the machine. Now leave the, the water pump on for the required time to cool down the system. If you want to reset a different power percentage, press the reset button, turn the power knot to a zero position, reset the power percent to the desired amount, and follow the previously described procedure.